what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so today my twitter has been going crazy the amount of hate that i have received from me posting this clip me talking about live has been astronomical to the point where people that don't follow me don't really know me like that probably are going to my past videos to find me talking about live to discredit me or whatnot i i love it i i really do love it because at the end of the day some of you individuals you guys are actually proving the point that i said in this video now this clip was from the no name wrestling podcast i was on last week and i was on uh earlier today before filming this so so shout out to all the homies there i appreciate y'all having me on there and i basically joined in on a topic of them talking about live and that was it so when i posted this clip i just got the clip today i posted it on twitter because one i knew the hate i was going to receive was going to be astronomical and two i wanted to see what other opinions were going to be had but i knew the hate was going to be overwhelming i just didn't know how much apparently now people are saying i posted this right when Liv is having a great day i don't know what's happening with Liv. i don't know what accomplishments she's made recently so i wouldn't know but people are saying i'm only posting this to counteract that i, I promise you i promise you i don't go out my way to try to post clips of me being a part of a podcast to discredit live or any other wrestler this was just in my opinion so i'm gonna play the clip for you guys for those who don't have twitter or don't know what's going on and i want y'all to give me y'all opinion on if i said something that was just too far too egregious and i deserve the hate let's check this out together y'all and i mean this with all my fiber of a being so if you got a problem with it i don't give a here we go i never and people gonna feel some type of way but i never really bought into the live hype and i'm being dead serious not about just because this video i've never bought it God. because not because she, i i believe she care about the business she loving that's cool but when i'm sitting up here and i'll never forget this and most of motherfucking live fans are not gonna forget this i can't buy live ever standing a god's given chance against ronda rousey in no form of combat in no form of situation i damn near can't stand here in a realistic situation beating most of the women on this roster that's just i'm gonna keep it a buck because at the end of the day is really glazing her because wish they could date her that's all it is it's mostly, <laughs> you know, world, 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 world war four world war four world war ten that's world war ten and shout out to him no name wrestling podcast shout out to them for having me on the show so that's what i said i'm having a fun time with it whatever you can say i'm trolling or it was too far whatever the case so people's response to that is bringing up like a smaller wrestler like ray oh well ray is a smaller wrestler you can buy into him but you can't buy into live well ray is a much better wrestler than live and his move set has it's been accentuated because he's a smaller guy but we've seen ray get packed up by bigger guys it happens all right cool you can take that away because i'm not even about to entertain that because once again ray's wrestling compared to live is day and night no disrespect but that's just what it is we know ray is a fantastic wrestler so his moveset will work with that also people have bought up uh, a clip of me I think I was doing a preview and predictions and I gave my predictions on who was going to win. And I said, um, I would like Liv to most likely win because she's over right now, which is the truth. It only made sense. I was like, you know what? I would prefer if Liv won the match because she's super over right now. Fuck it. It is what it is. That was my opinion. Now, at one point, did I sit up there and say, oh, yeah, man, she's the best right now. I'm looking forward to this match. No, it's just she's over right now. I'm going to go with that. And the people's argument, because I said in the clip that I've never really just been, I never bought into Liv's hype. I didn't. Even then. Even then, if I had to choose who's going to win and I see the overall reception, the fans love Liv at that time. And fans still love her, but she's not as over. And people don't want to admit this, but she's not as over as she once was. The run she had going against Becky Lynch, 
She was super over. And that kind of transition to her uh, winning the money in the bank, she was super over. But she's not as over as she once was. And that that's just what it is. There's other people that are people like Rhea. Rhea's over as hell. Liv, at one point, she was the top ba like baby face for fans cheering her. You know, and that's cool. But once again, I didn't buy into it. I never was like, I'm looking forward to the match. It's just like, all right, it is what it is. So I think people are trying to point that out as hypocrisy because I said I never really bought into her hype and I didn't. I may have wanted her to win, but I didn't buy into the hype. That's just what it is. It's simple. I, I don't know how else to break it down. People are trying to discredit what I said. I'm still standing by that, what I said. Now, do I think she's gotten better? Of course. I liked what she did in the Elimination Chamber. I, I, I'm okay. I'm allowed to be able to change my opinion on that. But overall, as a whole, I just never really cared. And I'm not here to tell anybody that, you know what I'm saying, you shouldn't care about it if you like her, cool. But the point I really wanted to expound upon is some of you fans. Now, I maybe shouldn't have said all of you fans because that's generalizing people. So you can get me on that. But some of you fans are proving my point correct right now. The amount of live stands that are coming at me and not even refuting my points, just talking shit as if I'm trying to get some clout off of it. I'm really not. I posted it. I knew it was going to get engagement. There it is. This is not the only post that gets a lot of engagement for me that I don't talk about live. So that's neither here nor there. But the amount of fans that are coming at me and they're not even on no, oh, I disagree with you. This is why it's on some. Nah, fuck you. You're a live hater. You're just trying to capitalize off of live on all this other stuff. Like people talking down. They don't even know me. Don't even follow me. And you're proving my point. You're doing all this for what? For what? Stone Cold is my favorite wrestler. I've seen people say Stone Cold's mid overrated. Do I give a fuck? No. Do I sit up there and, and try to find clips of them talking about Stone Cold and praising them? No. Do I sit up there and get mad about their opinion? No. I don't care. Because it's your opinion. So you're entitled to it. It does nothing to me. It's not going to change my mind that I feel like Stone Cold's the greatest. It's not going to change my mind. Simple as that. It'd be different if I was posting posts like this all the time, but I don't. This was a clip. I promoted it for the homies of podcast, and that was it. I knew it was going to get some, some hatred, but I'm okay with that. See, that's the difference between me and some of y'all out here that feel so passionate about some of these wrestlers. At the end of the day, I can separate myself from that. I have a life outside of it. So, yes, I make money talking about wrestling and giving my wrestling takes and opinions. But at the end of the day, I don't take it that seriously because guess what? It's for our entertainment purposes. I'm not meant to like every wrestler I see on TV. It make that's, that's not fun. It's okay to not like something. And I'm going to stand on that. So I'm one of those people. I'm always going to speak my opinion. It may not come out the right way. Some can say it was harsh or whatever. But I, me, I grew up in an era, man. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm going to say my opinion. I'm not going to be as disrespectful because I wasn't disrespectful to live. If anything, I was just kind of disrespectful to some of her diehard fucking overzealous fans. So the only thing I could possibly take some criticism and some heat on is the fact that i generalize all her fans when in actuality it's not all but it's the ones i see that respond that do the most and i think it you make it you make it even that much harder to even want to like a wrestler because you you have this tribalism idea of you gotta like this wrestler if you don't then you're the problem I'm like what 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 are we talking about <laughs> like i don't know man it's it's crazy but i me personally, hey guys, who those who think I'm an asshole, those who think I, I don't know what I'm talking about, my I have L takes, whatever. Cool. Keep sending the hate. Do what you gotta do. I'm gonna sit there and I'm just gonna keep going on about my day because at the end of the day, I don't think anybody's gonna be talking about this from a week now, two weeks from now, three weeks from now, four weeks from now. Nobody's gonna be talking about this. When WrestleMania come around, nobody's going to be talking about that one time I posted a clip from a podcast talking about Liv and her fans. No one's going to care. So that's why I'm like, get it all out now. And when we get back to your regular scheduled program, Monday through Friday, I doubt anyone's going to really care. 
it is what it is it's life man comment down below let me know do you guys think my live morgan take was too harsh or do y'all think that just fans are just too sensitive let me know I i'm going with the latter but i appreciate all the love and support road to 150k and i'm still going to speak to you to wrestle champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all next one peace